Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today is episode 2 of High Low Tech, and in this episode we are going to be taking a look at a bunch of double piston extender designs, but before we get on with any of that, I just want to start things off by saying a massive thank you for the amount of support that we got on episode 1 of High Low Tech. The number of likes and comments was absolutely brilliant and I really did love that. So as always, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you wouldn't mind heading down to the comment section and suggesting what I should do in the next episode, that would be absolutely fantastic. But I think that's enough waffling on about YouTube, let's crack on and take a look at the designs that I've got for you. Now for this first little section we are going to be taking a look at horizontal double piston extenders which you may be wondering why there are three different ones in front of us but that is because they all use the same ratio and that is very important. This is a fairly fundamental thing to know about in double piston extenders and I like to call it the 240 ratio. We've got two ticks, four ticks and no ticks and that as you can see creates a very nice double piston extender. Now this one over here uses the exact same thing except it is flush with the wall. It is slightly larger but that is because we have to accompany for that. So as you can see as with the first it retracts that block back in. Now this one although it doesn't look like it, it still does use the old 240 because we have got zero ticks running into this block and then we have got two ticks running into the back piston and four ticks running into the middle piston there. So let's flick the lever and you can see that that all works. So you can really get a good idea of what's going on here, I thought we should take a little look at some of the theory behind it. So essentially what this whole 240 thing does, which may sound a little bit strange, is it turns this one on first, and then it turns this one on, and you can see we get ourselves the double piston extension. And then it turns that one on, and then this one turns off, this one turns off, and then this one turns off and you can see we get ourselves a double piston extender. Now double piston extenders are actually a little bit more complicated than they first seem because obviously you have to go back, front and then retract the front, retract the back and then do the middle which you know it is quite tough to do in a little circuit but this does a very decent job just using a little trick of the redstone timings. Now I'm sure you can get a good idea of how to build this from these aerial views so this is the first one. And then this one here uses the exact same thing, but the redstone goes underneath and runs into the blocks. So then, obviously, when this piston is over the top of this block, it will extend. Then this last one is designed by CMB Minecraft, and I will put a link to the tutorial in the description and also on the screen. But here is an aerial view for all you pros that can copy from that. Now the second design that we're going to be taking a look at today is a downwards vertical one and I'm just about to destroy everything that I just told you because unfortunately the old 240 formation only works for horizontal double piston extenders. Vertical ones, they do kind of work like that but you have to do a little bit of fan dangle business using what's known as a falling edge monostable circuit to get the final block retraction because otherwise things just go a bit wrong. So anyway, we just flick this lever here, you can see we get our double piston extension, and then when we flick the lever again, we get the retraction. And you should see that that repeater just blinked on very shortly. So there we go, and there it is. That is the little bit that we have to work on in this build, otherwise it just won't work. So let's begin. Now to build one of these, the first thing you want to do is just place your two sticky pistons facing downwards. Obviously, if you don't do that, then you're not going to get much of a double piston extender. Then you just want to place a block here and a block up like this with redstone dust there. You can take out that block at the bottom and this one because you need to replace it with a half slab and place a repeater, set it to two ticks running out into a block with redstone dust like that. That is going to act as a pulse extender, so this top piston stays extended for longer than this bottom piston. And that means that it will actually retract the block. So then you just want to place a block here, and then redstone running down like that, a repeater running into a block with redstone dust on the top. And this is where we do a little bit of funky business, okay? Because we're gonna place a redstone torch here, and then a redstone torch right here. And that little circuit there is going to create what is known as the monostable circuit, which is essentially the meat of this build. So anyway, if we place down our lever, you will see we get our double extension, and then also we get our double piston retraction. Now a really great thing about this design is that it is actually ex expandable so you can just place the redstone and the repeaters down here and just continue that along. You don't have to do the circuit again and then you can go up here, take out this block, carry out this line of blocks here and just place redstone dust on it like that and then over here you just place blocks with redstone dust on the top of those and you should see that now you will get yourself a fresh line of double piston extenders. Three times as impressive. 
The final design that we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is always a crowd pleaser. It is the flush with the floor vertical double piston extender. And just like the last time, we can't use the 240 circuit. Unfortunately, we're going to have to roll once again with the falling edge monostable circuit. And to do this, we are going to be using some of the new-ish 1.5 features in the form of the dropper and the hopper. So as you can see, when we flick this lever, our block rises up out of the ground, looking pretty fancy. And then when we flick it again, it gets Gets retracted right the way back down so there it is so to build this you want to get things started with a 4x3 area the whole thing fits inside a 4x3x4 area so it is pretty small but you want to place two sticky pistons like that facing upwards with a block on top then a block here with a redstone torch on the side and your lever is going to go right there so this here is going to be your floor level but I wouldn't put that in just there just that block there is essential because obviously the torch powers it which means that you get the double piston extension but now you just want to place a block like this a block here redstone dust there and a repeater running into that bottom piston like that and now you should see that we actually have some of the retraction and all of the double piston extension so all we have to do is the second block retraction to get this one down to here and to do that final part, you want to go over to where your lever is, place a dropper facing in this direction with a hopper running into the face of it and then any old item into there. And when you flick the lever, it will just bounce back and forth, giving a very short pulse, which is also known as a monostable circuit. So then you just want to place a block like this, a comparator and a block. Now, for those of you who are wondering what this is here, basically the comparator is going to draw output from this hopper through this block and then it will go into this piece of redstone dust so we should see double extension and then we get the double retractions now you can fill in all of this floor here because you are all done wow today's video has been a long one but it has been a hell of a lot of fun to record so if you did enjoy it please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys this has been mumbo and i'm out i'll see you later